Hello, Falce. Uh, it's been a while since I did a view video and uh, been super busy. <laughs> Museum stuff, festival, um, all sorts of stuff. Um, but I've had a few days off that I can sort of for a bit and then go back to the madness that is the fringe. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of want to address a, a certain issue. Um, I've seen like videos recently um, where people are discussing about gender uh, issues or you know, gender um, roles in regards to certain estibates or or um, sabbats within like uh, modern witchcraft, um, specifically around Beltane, um, as they call it. Uh, you know about the Lord and Lady and stuff, and um, you know th that is a, a to a certain tradition that has been revived and um, is a specific mystery tradition, and it sort of went down to the mainstreams of of books like through Llewellyn, um, but essentially sort of a bastardization of Gallic tradition. Uh, so it's good really that um you know the then the, the term baltana is um is not pronounced right because then we can distinguish what is baltane and what is baltana um so in modern um paganism neo-paganism and modern witchcraft you know it is uh baltane is a time of like the may queen and uh you know and uh, the Lord of the Dance and, you know, uh, that polarity sort of coming together and which, you know, stems from the origins of of Gerald Gardner and a bit of Alexandrian sort of traditions and then, you know, so forth, so forth, so on, so forth. Um, but I feel like there needs to be a, um, a distinction made because um you know Beltane is quite a it it's it's really complex so when you think of Beltane even today when we have the Beltane Fire Festival here in Edinburgh it's it's more of a contemporary dance arts you know touching on neo paganism um and all everything in between uh, but it is more of a festival sort of vibe as opposed to a spiritual ritual vibe and it's expressed through arts which is fantastic I used to enjoy um, going every year to the Beltane and, and the, the Samhain um, you know fire festivals um, but when we look at like um, how you know neo-paganism has arrived to us and they're looking back on a lot of, uh, you know, what Gerald Gardner was, you know, his time spent in, you know, Africa and and whatnot um, in the military, you know, and seeing how they are practicing magic and how they have seasonal and rituals and, you know, you know, the hol holidays and holidays, the smells and bells. Um, he was looking more to something he could craft his own from the British Isles um, and you know at the time you know Britain was still a kind of a, a construct that people were still going by um, and we know that's not so simple today but he was just take taking so from various different elements of um, Celtic traditions from Welsh from Cornish um, from um, Ireland Scotland um, but you know so a lot of them, you know, the four, four main ones within the uh, the wheel of the, the the pagan wheel of the year, or yeah, the neo pagan wheel of the year, is uh, is taken from uh, the Gaelic or Gwega, um traditions of Ireland, uh, Scotland, Isle of Man, um, and uh, so. And then sort of recrafted with what's going on at a time within English traditions and what's going in, in, in you know, a little bit in 
Cornwall and, and even in France uh, and, and Germanic customs of around this time of year. So, you you know, you see the maypole and you see the unity and you see represent, representation of um, sex sort of thing and um, gender sort of way. Um, however, within Gallic culture, it, it's Baltana. Um, it's not about that. Baltana is a time where it is sort of, it, it's not summer, it is sort of end of, end of winter coming to spring almost summer but it has weird um you know days where it feels like summer but yet not and frost um so baltana marks that time of um uncertainty so within gallic culture it was all about securing um your look and mostly um illness to make sure that as we go on throughout the year, we have, we have been strong enough for the winter, um, yet, yet have that strength throughout the year. So with Baltana, you have traditions of driving cattle between two fires. You have, um, you know, people um, on, you know, the eve of Baltana, you know, going on the highest hills and, and, and washing their face with, um, with dew you know, um, may do, um, to ensure that they are youthful, you know, and that, you know, the winter, the harsh winter hasn't had a crease or two. Um, and it was very much a pastoral sort of tradition. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, I celebrate it in the way that, um, it's each year, it's my time to, to sort of same, um, Neve or my relatives or my my other companions that need my help you know need a wee bit of help and you know to ensure that there's safety throughout that year um and we all know as charms go you know they need renewed <laughs> you know they they have to add that you know recharge each year to to keep that going um, so Baltana was all about that, you know, seeing the sap rising, seeing that almost glimpse of the summer and, you know, and what summer brings, which in back in the days, a lot of hard work. So, um, I guess where the sex comes into it is, you know, um, it was probably your last chance around this time to sort of have relations with your partner before, you know, your husband goes off to like, you know, summer grazing with the cattle, which could be off for like six months of the year, um, you know, for better, um, better like feed and, and better sort of grass for them to feed on. And um, so she wouldn't see a husband for like probably six months a year. So that probably comes from that sort of sex and probably that's where neo-paganism have sort of adapted that and, you know, and then a fourth comes on, like, have fasting associated with that because, you know, ribbons and the may maypole and sex and this and that, you know. But um, it, it's, it's quite unfair when it comes to um, Gallic tradition um, to sort of, confuse neo-paganism with the folk cultures of um you know a a minority culture sort of thing um so you know Baltane is the neo flavor of it Baltana is the folk festival of right this is the only time we're gonna have you know to do things because after this, like, soon, we're going to have to do a lot of hard work. With that, we had need security. So, yes, stay in the cattle. Yes, get our last shag in. And, um, yes, make some, you know, um, not vows, but promises. Well, while we're both away for six months, we're not going to do this, not do that, do that. You know, you're not going to speak to the clan over in, you know, in the next region. 
uh, because we're still not speaking to them with a feud that happened you know, 10 years ago. Um, and so on and so forth. Um, so you, you can see these tiny little elements like that are how neo-paganism has touched upon Beltane as a, a time of like sex and you know dance and polarity and and that's great and and that's their tradition that's their their customs as the part of their religion but not to confuse Beltane with Beltana the folk customs within the Galtach the Gaelic speaking areas of Scotland Isle of Man um, Ireland and whatnot um, because it's a very, <laughs> the way they see Baltana, it's not how they see Baltane and vice versa. Um, I don't see how that they would, there was still some flat like similarities, but it's, it's all about securing, um, what you've got to go ahead. So, you know, it's that term of, you know, go on as you mean to end, you know, so. If you mean to end successful, make sure you you secure success. And that's why, you know, the saning of animals, driving them between two um, fires or uh, being, being fire or um, uh, Galax phrasing me now. Uh, yeah, sacred fire, uh, team. Um, Teach. It's to ensure that they don't have illness, that Hardy will, you know, they won't be overlooked, they won't be spell casted on, they won't get any illness, they will not be come across any kind of fairy, nothing for that year. Because, you know, people ha are working hand to mouth. And a lot of people still do to this day. Although we live in a commercial sort of society, um, you know, with agriculture, um, is it's not as well paid as you think of, and a lot more, um, not as a lot more hard working, but you know, there's a lot more demand, and um, it's not well paid, and you know, very stressful, very hard working agricultural people. Um, so that's why you can know, you still see these traditions out the boot. Um, because as more social pressure is, so is the, the, you know, desire to secure luck, secure, um, health and whatnot. So, yeah, that's the difference between Baltane and Baltana. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, bless it be, bless you all. Uh, Slanchiva.